that few minutes on. Bring us special granddaughter of ours here. Baby yeah. blessings are so important because it gives a, a child a head start. Just imagine if you had a head start in life. Just imagine if you knew that God had a plan for you when you were six months old. And someone told your parents how to train you, how to raise you, that you would have a head start. Well, if you knew that, you were supposed to be nutritionist before you went to a school for cosmetology. What if you were supposed to be a doctor and you spent all your time trying to be something that you weren't? Well, baby blessings allow us to have a head start so that we can train up a child the way he or she should go that when they get old, they don't have to have what we call regrets because they didn't be proud or didn't achieve what they were born for. Amen. So today we'll be blessing baby Sean as those who are presenting will be present today. Uh, would you bring little Sean here and all of those who will be uh, a part of that? If you can come and stand right in front of me, please. All those who are participating in the baby books today, if you could stand towards me, and I want to read a couple of scriptures. And then I think there's two people today that will be participating in our baby blessing and share it with you. One would be Joe Armstrong, who is one of our elders. The other would be Teresa Westrick who is our children pastor. That man and that woman will be, will be sharing with you some of the God's heartbeat. So I'm going to ask you if you would give uh, Teresa and Joe a mic so they have their own personal mic. I want to read a couple of scriptures to you just to let you know why we do what we do. In Mark chapter 10, verse number 13, it said, The people brought children to Jesus, hoping he might touch them. The disciples shooed them off, but Jesus was irate and let them know it. Don't push these children away, Jesus says. Don't ever get between them and me. These children are the very center of life in the kingdom. Mark this, unless you accept God's kingdom in the simplicity of a child, you'll never get in. Then gathering the children up in his arms, he laid hands on them. What happens in many cultures is that we irritate babies because we try to water baptize them before they even know it's Christ. So what we want to do is follow the mandate of Jesus. What Jesus did, he took the babies in his arms, he laid hands on them, and then he pronounced the blessing. He pronounced a blessing that was irrevocable, something that no one could take away from him. And so today we won't water baptize the baby because the baby's not old enough to accept Jesus. We won't sprinkle her with water, all she'll do is start crying. So what we're going to do is that in the next few minutes, to a man and a woman who spent some time praying for her, little Sean will give you some instructions about her life. Now lastly, I'll take her in my arms, I'll pronounce a blessing upon her, again, that's irrevocable. She'll take that in elementary school, she'll take that blessing in middle school, she'll take that blessing in high school, she'll take that blessing in college, she'll take that blessing to all the other places that she would go in life because it's irrevocable. So I'll present to you some, and you saw this again. Uh, Teresa Resty, she's our children pastor. Then after Teresa would be Joe Armstrong. He's one of our elders in our church. And then I'll come back and I'll take Sean in my arms and I'll pronounce the blessing over. Sean Ian. God is gracious. Gift from God. 
beautiful woven silk. Powerful. Complete. Bold. Independent. Leader. Planner. Strong-willed. Interested in culture. Prophetic. Entrepreneur and executive-minded. Wise beyond her years. The scripture that the Lord gave me was Psalms 112, 1 through 9. Praise the Lord. Happy are those who fear the Lord, who greatly delight in his commandments. Their descendants will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in her house, and their righteousness endures forever. They rise in the darkness as the light for the upright. They are gracious, merciful, and righteous. It is well with those who deal generously in land, who conduct their affairs with justice. For the righteous will never be moved. They will be remembered forever. They are not afraid of evil tidings. Their hearts are firm, secure in the Lord. Their hearts are steady, and they will not be afraid. In the end, they will look in triumph on their foes. They have distributed freely. They have given to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever, and their horn is exalted in honor. There are generational blessings that will flow from you, Sean, to your daughter. You will give her a sense of identity and why she is here. You will give her the motivation and the discipline that is needed when she lacks the motivation to succeed. Sean, you will give her the permission to succeed by the way you speak to her, relate to her, raise her. You will write something upon her heart that will cause her to propel into her destiny. It will come from your voice. It will come from your love. It will come from your approval, your affirmation, and your sense of security that you give her. A lot of her blessings and her legacy will come through the channels of family. The vehicle that God will use to bring her to her destination is through the wisdom of her lineage. There are nine spiritual blessings, nine gifts of the Spirit, nine fruits of the Spirit. There are nine women in this family that will pour into her and build in her the legacy and the gifting and the ability that will come out of her. She walks in a level of authority and understanding that people will forget how old she is at times. And even she will forget how old she is. She will tap into generational treasures that have been laid up in heaven and in store for her that she will fulfill and walk out. Nine is the number. Number nine is the number of finality. There are certain things that she will end in this lineage that will no longer carry on when it comes to her. May the Lord, the God of our ancestors and her ancestors, increase Sean a thousand times more and may they bless her as they have been promised i decree that the 39 stripes that took that jesus took on his back that she walked in a generational blessing of healing that she will not visit any other generation that is cursed and i thank you that she is a generational blessing and she will know it in a greater way I thank you that she understands the establishment of businesses and forming corporations. She will function as an LLC, but she will have many DBAs. I thank you that she walks in a level of peace, and the only battle that she will ever fight is in the spirit and not in her family.